Hello everyone, this is Suzanne Fury Parrot with Unruly Guides and today's First Steps tutorial is to show you how you can easily make a book cover using stock photography and Photoshop. Now in this example I'm going to show you where to find photos on BigStock.com but there's, there is a variety of other photo places you could use online. Now on BigStock you can do a search by keyword or browse by category. And you can also browse by category and then tighten it down by keyword. But right now, we're just going to search for shoes. So you type in shoes and click search. Now you can see there's a lot of choices of shoes that you can pick from. So I have selected pink shoes. Now I can either add this to my cart if I'm ready to purchase, or I can add this to the light box. And I recommend that you add photos that you're interested in to a light box. And to do this, you click the link, Add to Lightbox, and it will come up either Create a New Lightbox or Example, which is the one I made. And I made that my default. So I add it to the Lightbox, and you can see you'll have a check mark added. When you are done searching for photos, you go to your Lightboxes by scrolling to the top and clicking Lightboxes. Now I have two here, so I'm going to click Example, which is where my photo is at. And you can see I added five photos to my examples. And what I want to do is choose the pink shoes. Now I can either download or remove it if I decide I don't like it. But I'm not sure if it's the right photo for me, so I don't want to download it yet. So click the photo. And on this page, it will give you everything about the shoes. You can download it, a preview, which is what we want to do. But you can also see there are various other examples of the shoes head on cropped, and other types of shoes. If at the time you decide this is what you want for your cover, you can actually select the credits to pay. And I, select, I suggest you choose 300 DPI. So let's download the preview, and you're going to save it to file. So you click OK. Now to save it, it always comes with the number that is associated with it. But I like to make, name it something where I can find it. So now that I have my shoe, I'm going to go to Photoshop. Now I set up a new page that is 6 by 9, 300 DPI. And the reason for 300 DPI is that in, when you're done with your cover, you may want to print on demand or traditionally print it. So you want the highest resolution. Now you want to bring in the photo. So we're going to open up and find pink shoes. And you're going to, this will open in a new document. And you can either copy and paste it or just drag it. So you put your arrow over it and drag it over, mine is called Entitle right now, to the page where you want it. Now you see how small it is it's because this photo is only 72 dpi. To fix that, you hit Control T and that will select the entire file. Hold down the Shift button and you can drag your anchor points so it will fit. Now all you have to do is positioned on the page and you can see you have two different layers now and now you want to type your um, title to the book now you can change the color and the font from your text box which is color here we're going to change it to black And you have, I have a variety of fonts here, but you can go online and find fonts and you can change it to whatever you feel would work. This is Futura. And you can see that it works well. You add your name the same way. And you have the basics of your book. Now you can move the photo around by selecting the different layer and adjusting it. You could also move the text and change the text. If this is the layout that you finally decide you like, then go purchase the photo and replace it on this page. And you've got your photo. And then you simply export it. You can go save as to web devices for online or save as and it will show you Photoshop or a variety of other formats. Most of them use JPEG. So that's it in a nutshell. And I thank you for listening, and I hope that you come back to Unruly Guides and check out more of our First Steps tutorials. Have a great day.